How's it going everyone? Seb here. In this video I'm going to show you some quick tips to help you get the best out of Canva's video background removal tool. I'm talking about the tool that helps you remove backgrounds from videos. This is a new feature available in the pro version of Canva. First off, this feature doesn't work for every single video. So tip number one is choose your videos wisely. You'll need to choose a video where the primary subject is clearly separate from the background. So it works better for people, animals, or products that are in focus and in the foreground. I have one example here. This person is in focus and the background is clearly distinguishable. Now, to remove the background, make sure you select the video by clicking on it. Then here you'll see edit video, click on that, and then you'll see the background remover. Just click on that and it will remove the background. Now, when you press play, you can see that the background is gone. This works fairly well and you can then go on to change the background. You can make it orange, you can have a green background or any background you wish. Now, here is a video that doesn't work so well. As you can see, the color of the car is similar to the color of the background. If I play this video, you'll be able to see that it's a car just racing through some streets. Again, if I edit video, remove the background, it basically has removed everything. I'll click on play and you can see some of the backgrounds has stayed, but it just didn't work in this case. Now, if you find these tips useful, feel free to like and subscribe at youtube.com forward slash learn with Seb. I produce lots of tutorials, so feel free to check them out. Tip number two is to trim videos. The longer the video, the longer the background remover tool takes to work. So you don't want to be there removing a background, sitting there for 10 minutes while it's trying to remove the background for a 10 second video. So here's a video I added to this page. If I play it, you can see it's a guy running on a spot. Now, once the video is selected, you'll see at the top here, there's a scissors icon with 10 seconds next to it. This shows how long the video is. If you select on this, you can trim the video by using these handles on the left and right. Now I can make it shorter or longer. As you can see the time here, I've selected 0.9 seconds worth of this video. Now if I click and drag, I can choose a selection. I'm just gonna choose to select the beginning part of the video, then click done. Now I can edit the video and click background removal tool and it will just remove the background from that 0.9 seconds that I've selected. This will save you a lot of time if you're doing this multiple times. So the next tip is to detach the video from the background. So once you've removed the background, if you try and click and drag it, you might find that you can't move it around. Or if you try to change the color of the background, if I click on here, click black, it disappears red, like where's the video? The video has disappeared. What I'm going to do is undo that. You might find that because the video has snapped to the background. So to separate it, what you need to do is right click and see where it says here, detach video from background. There, it has now separated the video from the page and I can move it around, I can resize it or I can do anything. So now what you can do with that is you can have the guy running in the desert He's running on the spot here, or you can have him running on the moon. You can change the background to anything you want. I got these images from the left hand side here where you've got photos. If you click on that, you can choose any of the photos and drag that in as the background. So that's another useful tip if you find that you can't move the image from the background. Okay, tip four is to crop the video. With this, you can crop videos to remove unwanted areas. So here I've got two people speaking. Say I just want this guy. What I can do is crop the video. Again, this is locked to the background. So I'm gonna click detach video from background. I'm going to just resize it. So it's still detached, but it covers the whole entire page. Now using these handles, I can just crop the video here. Once that's cropped, I can move it around the screen. Then I'm gonna edit the video and remove the background. Now, when I press play, it's just this guy in the background. Again, you can trim the video using these settings here. So I can use that length here. 
and the video is now trimmed and cropped. This is useful if you have one person here, you can add text. For example, if I use the text shortcut here, I can add text and have that on the left hand side and then have the video playing with the text there. Tip five, animations. So what you could also do with the background removal tool is to remove the background for animations. So I've got animation here of a lightning strike. I want the lightning strike on a red background. So I change the background to red here. I detach the video. Now what I'm going to do is edit and remove the background. Now press play. I've got a lightning strike over a red background. So it doesn't just work for people or animals or products. You can use it for animations. It doesn't work for every animations. It depends on the contrast of the object in the foreground and the background. But you can also do that with the subscribe animation. If I just undo that, you can find subscribe animations in Canva. So if you go to elements and search for subscribe, you'll see a lot of green screen animations like this. You can drag them in and then use the background remover to remove the green screen. So I'll select the video, click edit, click remove background, and then press play. And now I've just got the red subscribe button and the animation on a white background. So that's another tool. You might be able to see a little bit of green here. Again, it's just a matter of playing with it and seeing which animations work and which doesn't. This feature is still in beta, so I'm sure they're developing new features to slightly enhance this background removal tool. But here are five quick tips to help you get the best out of the background removal tool as it is now. On that note, feel free to like and subscribe to learn with Seb. I'm in the process of scripting and writing new videos. I took a month off, but I'm back. So I'll catch you in the next one.